Here's the DJI Phantom 2 quadcopter. It comes ready to fly, complete with all the accessories you need. A pack of spare rotor blades is provided, as well as a battery pack, charger, and some stickers for the Phantom 2. You can see I applied the red stickers to the front of the quadcopter in order to denote the front of the aircraft. This means that when I'm flying, I can more easily identify the front and the rear and know the orientation of the quadcopter when I'm flying it. The battery pack slots into the body of the quadcopter and there are some connectors you can see taped to the landing legs. These connectors are used for hooking up the optional gimbal and on-screen display devices, which I will review in later videos. You can see for now I have applied the basic GoPro clip mounts that come with your GoPro camera, just for demo purposes. I don't really advise this, as if the sticky pad comes loose, you'll lose your GoPro. However, so far, I've had some quite good results filming in this way, even though there is a slight jello effect. The controller that comes with the kit is easy to use, with the left stick controlling the yaw and at it altitude, and the right stick controlling the forwards, backwards, right and left tilt to maneuver the quadcopter through the air. To power the Phantom 2, press the power button and then press again, holding it for a few seconds. The first press will light up the battery indicators, showing how much charge is left, and the second press will actually power on the device. To power down, a similar thing is done, press once, then a second time, holding it down as the LED light indicators count down until it is powered off. The first thing you need to do before flying is calibrate the compass. The magnetic compass is attached to the leg of the Phantom 2. To put the device into calibration mode, you first power on the transmitter and then power on the Phantom 2. After this is done, you flip the top right switch back and forth several times until the LED light indicator on the rear of the Phantom 2 begins to flash orange. Then you need to rotate the Phantom a few times 360 degrees in normal flying position, turn it on its side and do the same. The easiest way I found to do this is hold it above your head and turn around as shown here. Once calibration is done, you are ready to take the DJI Phantom 2 for a test flight. After powering on the Phantom, leave it to sit on the ground for a few moments. You should wait until you get a green flashing light. This indicates that the Phantom has locked on to GPS satellites and has marked its home position. This is important so the Phantom can return home if you lose the signal or if you lose sight of the aircraft. To start the rotor blade spinning, first move both control levers to the lower left corners. This will power on the rotor blades. Once they are spinning, you can lift the aircraft upwards by pushing upwards gently on the left control stick. The copter will begin to rise. Pushing down on the left stick will lower the altitude back towards the ground. Left and right on the stick controls the yaw and will turn the Phantom 360 degrees in space. The left stick will control the forwards, backwards, right and left movement of the Phantom as shown here. The Phantom is able to crab right and left and by combining these stick motions you can do things like fly the Phantom in a circle but keep the nose pointing into the center so you can get some great camera angles. If the Phantom flies out of sight or range, or the batteries in your transmitter die, do not worry. So long as you calibrate the compass properly and set the home position of the Phantom, the Phantom will find its way home after it detects a lost signal. Once it is back overhead or in sight, to regain control you can flip the top right switch a couple of times to re-establish connection between the controller and the Phantom. If this is not done, the Phantom will land itself in auto land mode and then shut itself down. When flying, keep an eye on the battery indicators. In normal flight, the Phantom will have two red lights at the front and two green at the rear. When the rear starts flashing red, you only have 25% battery left and you should think about getting it on the ground as soon as possible to avoid a catastrophic crash landing. 